This then for this last game for the 2021 Six Nation. Brian Eason only makes a handful of changes up front. Christine Bellow is the only alteration. Emma Wassell has had a great Six Nations so far. And that back row continues with 20 year old Evie Gallagher on the flank. Of course, without the services of Conkle and Malcolm. The big news is the start of Jenny Maxwell at Scrum Half, a selection that gives us an insight as to how Scotland are hoping to play. Helen Nelson comes back into 10 with Thompson and Smith outside. But for Wales and Warren Abrams, again, plenty of changes, injuries and selection, nine in all. Robin Wilkins starts in her favoured 10 shirt, moving up from 15 where Jazz Joyce will start. Gemma Rowland, and now captain Hannah Jones from an experienced midfield. Shoan Lillicrap is missing with an ankle complaint. So George Evans moves out with Beth Dainton, making her first start of the campaign. Big, powerful front five, but they need to be going forward. To the replacement sense. Familiar faces on the Scotland Pine with the likes of Sarah Law. Fresh faces to this year's championship anyway for Wales. Shona Powell-Hughes, Jade Knight and Megan Webb. The last game of this year's Six Nations. It's Scotland against Wales from Scotston. Bathed in sunlight. Will the rugby match up to the conditions? Runs for Scotland. Here's Hannah Smith back inside. Gaffney is looking for work in this opening five minutes here at Scotston. Maxwell. Now the, the juggernauts get involved. That time it was Wasser. Maxwell again, just fizzing around that base, just whipping the passes out for Nelson, and now Thompson. They've got numbers out on the left-hand side, surely they will score Scotland, and indeed they do, through Megan Gaffney. Scotland had patience, phase after phase, really well controlled, and then just threw the hands at the end, and it's easy for Megan the corner. just so in tune with your coach because <laughs> when I spoke to him this week he was talking about patience and that's a word you've just used there it's nice and solid Megan Davis first start for her the Exeter Chiefs number nine Hannah Jones the captain top tackler top Turnover maker in Take this six nations so far. It's her work rate no, just breaks down again for Wales. Natalia John with that, that pass, where she's coming around the corner. The pass is up on her left shoulder. It's, it's a difficult one. Robin Locke. Yeah, Linda Scrum. Her first Six Nations start at hooker. A lot of pressure on her. And that lift jump throw doesn't quite go right again. It's something that. Both these sides haven't been able to rely on totally as their set piece. Already there for Wales with the scrum, they knock it on. Stop, stop. Okay. And the line out doesn't go their way. Musgrove is chasing quickly, but Jazz Joyce. Slight but wiry strength just to get through that first challenge. And a jumps. Category with the tackle on. Hannah Jones, another one, plenty of these Welsh players applying their trade in the Premier 15, it's pretty Scotland players as well of course. Joyce, Joyce looking around, down in the middle of the field if play comes this way we'll probably have to stop but for now we are safe and Good to go, Thomas. Oh, tip yeah, on for Wynn Davis, and she may have been there, but Hannah Jones has picked it up. Thought about the offload, then thought against it. Gemma Rowland whips the pass out. It wasn't meant for Jazz Joyce, it was meant for Captain Lewis. Yeah. Missed for their first attempt. This one is easy for that. Wind has just picked up here at Scotston, but it's straight and it's true. South African tour. A few years ago now, only a second start today. I'm a loose energy. You know say, Rachel, wanting to play even for an 22. This Hannah Smith and that 
It's a brace of angles she can do, but it's Georgia oh, Evans who's got in there. And turn that ball over. And at the moment, Wales are just keeping Scotland hemmed in their third of the field. Points. Not the best of sounds. But the sounds of the touch ups flags going up will please not only Rob Wilkins, but the Wales as well. Now for Maxwell. Nelson, training ground move, will it sit up? It will. Gaffney. No hands. Too short now. Nelson. And the tiptoe her way to the line. Now come the forwards. Wassel. Kennedy. Oh, she's in. Scotland responds straight away with their second try of the day. Just absorbed three or four players there. She's calling for it, isn't she? Nothing that Megan Davis can do. Slightly easier. Conversion for Nelson. It's one there is an opportunity. That right wing, Thompson strings. Stopped by Wales. Still advantage. Still playing advantage to Scotland. They're just resetting it, showing that patience we've spoken about. Oh, they squeezed over. Nelson and, and Lisa Thompson getting for a huge amount of work, but brilliant to see the forwards powering over again. Great work. It was about that patience, wasn't it? it literally squeezes over. Got to get the restart right as well. Third set piece. Anna Smith, Lisa Thompson, there's some space there. And there's numbers. Here goes Scotland again. Chloe Rowley bursting out of defence. Just needs half a yard, if that. Scotland flooding forward again. Oh, like a different side here this afternoon, Scotland. <laughs> Who then will take the cup for fifth place in this year's Six Nations? Scotland with a 17 6 lead. Donna Rose, big challenge from Hannah Smith, who took a heavy knock at the end of that first half. Robbie Red Wilkins Wolf. is trying to pull that ball back for Gemma Rowland. Bright start here for Wales, certainly territory wise but they are being gifted these opportunities by Scotland Newman oh she slipped the tackle Lisa Newman is in for Wales right at the beginning of this second half and then Lisa Newman does it so well with so little space there she's been doing it all season long for sale sharks um, and great to see her doing it in a wheel shirt Megan Davis, wasn't it? That's great confidence from her. Just wonder, there's someone like a Darren Edwards or a Garrett Lewis in that change room at half time. He said, just Thanks. have a look down the blind. Just. Involved in there. Got him. Barn storming run from a minute. That's Cattigan as well. Here comes Scotland on the number eight, on the tripping over her own feet. No, no, stay. Skeldon couldn't quite yeah, believe the amount of space. And there's space here as well. Gaffney. Wales have done well. Newman. Joyce has done well. Yeah. Line out is straight and true to Wassel. Play advantage. 
I decide. Advantage coming again from Scotland. They're up there over that line. Has to be a try, and it is. Again, the driving line out, a driving ball from Scotland. Proves to be a real jewel in the crowd. It's fantastic to see Scotland's line out functioning so well like we know it can today. Um, and she's just been everywhere, and to see her go over the line is fantastic. <laughs> okay, big ball. <laughs> Technically, really good. The body positions are good in Wales and try to do everything they can to disrupt it legally or illegally. And then Evie Gallagher. Mm. Pumping the legs. Russell's driving at the front, isn't she? Nelson slides it inside the left hand upright. Adds two more to the tally. Well done, Megan Gaffney. Stay away from that touch line. Brilliant geography from her. And there's Nelson with that boot that we were just talking about. Oh, where's this one bouncing? Oh, it's into the arms of Musgrove. Brilliant tackle for Jasmine Joyce. Try saving. It was max saving tackle from the fullback. Bartlett comes now for Scotland. Pouring forward. No heads! Stay on! McMillan! Top on your knees! The pounce of the rugby ball. Yeah, 98 points. I forgive some of their keenness and a couple of those penalties, but four is just creeping over the acceptable mark. Nelson. Another three points, 27. Davis and Newman, Hannah Jones, yeah, the dummy was there. Good scramble back. I'm feeling, I'm feeling for poor Meg yeah, Davies now. She's had a really tough shift today and she's really struggling to keep up uh, with the speed that Wales are now bringing. Space on the left if they can get it there. Johns. Evans. We've seen that space now. There it is, Megan Webb. Out it goes. And Wales do finish this Six Nations through Lewis with a try. And boy, don't they deserve to finish this game on a high. Fantastic play to finish with from Wales. Nation, you can see Wilkins absolutely screaming for the ball um, and, and finding the pass there to go wide. Caitlin Lewis goes in. And we're talking all about Wales, of course, but of course it's Scotland who have, have won this game. Finished there, Six Nations on a high, finishing fifth place. But it's worth noting Wales's fight there because they could have laid down at many points during the Six Nations and they simply haven't. These two teams in particular will always fight to the death and that's one thing you can always count on. Wilkins. Oh, wow, she's got the conversion as well. 27 points to 20. Wilkins with that conversion from out wide. What a brilliant finish to this game and the Six Nations as well. Scotland came with a game plan today. Wanted to start really, really brightly, and they've been very, very impressive.